Hey guys, Brian Schumann Brown here, physical therapist, CrossFit coach, and wellness coach with Get Your Fix Physical Therapy. So continuing on with the hip mobility, uh, today we're going to address external rotation. So as I've talked about in the past, uh, when we're sitting a lot, chairs naturally push us into a little bit of internal rotation. So our external rotation gets a little tight and can limit a lot of our function, especially like squatting type um, positions or motions. So I'm gonna take, go through kind of the th sequence of three that I do with a lot of people, including myself. It's the sequence I do uh, before I'm gonna do any heavy squats at the gym, Olympic lifting, um, that sort of thing, especially Olympic lifting. It's one that I do since I'm gonna be going um, fold up squats and heavy. So what you'll do first, and I just got done working out, so don't mind me. Uh, what you're gonna do first, <clears throat> you're gonna position your legs in what I call a pinwheel. Hey Tony, good to see you on. In this position, what you're gonna do is your foot should be in line with your shin. You're gonna plant your hand next to that front leg, and from there, you're just gonna lean forward over that front leg into that position. Basically, just right over towards that knee. Just gonna hold it a couple seconds. Keeping that hand planted, you're gonna rotate backwards. And you're basically just holding a couple seconds in each position rotating forward and rotating backward. And what that does is it gets both hips moving through kind of their full range of motion. You probably you might start out a little bit stiff, but as you go, you should be able to increase it. With that said, if you don't have full range like I do, that's perfectly fine. Just go within the range that you're able to do. 10 to 15 in this position, and then switch 10 to 15 in this position. After that, I like to go into pigeon pose. So there's a couple ways to do it. I'll show you the way on the floor and then I'll show you a modified way using, um, using your bed or a counter or table, something like that. But if you're on the floor, hey Alex, how's it going? If you're on the floor, you're gonna bring one leg forward. So ultimate goal is perpendicular to your body. So from the side into this position. If you don't have the mobility and you're back here, that's fine. You're just gonna continue working to try to get it to that position. And then from there, you're basically just going to try to drop down as low as you can. Once again, depending on how tight your hips are, depends on how far down you can come over your leg. But this is your ultimate position. Good to see you, Alex. Uh, this is your ultimate position you wanna get to. So. Just kind of work towards it. If this is all you have for now, that's perfectly fine. Just kind of work to progress it. Holding a good one to two minutes in order to really get those to loosen up. Now, if you can't get into that position for whatever reason, you can do it modified, which I will show you off my table. So if you need to, you can use a bed, countertop, kitchen table, uh, whatever you, um, are near and can use, but you're basically just going to get your leg up in that position. If, um, if you can't get all the way rotated there, this position is fine. What you want to pay attention to though is that your hips are squared. You don't want to be in this position. So make sure your hips are squared up to the table and then from that position you're just going to stay up nice and tall or you can lean forward just a little bit. I'm sure you don't, Alex. I'm sure you don't. Because you probably don't work on it. <laughs> All right. So, last one, we're going to come back down to the floor. Now, I know I've showed this one in other videos before, um, but it's one of my favorites for working hip mobility. It's one that most people are limited in because they, one, don't challenge it, and two, because they sit a lot. So, you have a desk job, you travel a lot for work, this is one you're gonna to wanna to be able to do. So, I'll show you ultimate goal, and I know I've showed this one before with different videos, but one leg up on top, or one foot up on top, and the other one up on top. This is your ultimate goal of where you wanna to get to. What I want you to do, though, is to work on getting there. So, you'll put one foot up, and you'll slide the other one back as far as you can, working on staying up nice and tall. You're only gonna bring this foot as far back as you can, being able to keep a good upright posture. I've had some of my athletes, they have to start out here. This is all the further they can go, but then over time they are able to bring it all the way up. So 
wherever your starting point is, that is perfectly fine. That's where you're gonna start. Two minute hold, bring them forward, shake them out. Two minutes on the other side. So those are my three favorites for working on that hip rotation. So try those out. Um, let me know how those go for you. If you have any questions and you're watching this on replay, definitely post those questions on here. I'd be happy to answer those for you. And as always, if you have anything specific you want me to address, uh, feel free to message me directly. I'd be happy to answer those questions for you. So hope you're having a wonderful day. Have a fabulous night, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. All right, bye.